This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, this is the fourth lecture now on Chapter 24 of the paper F2 free lecture notes on variance analysis. Now remember what we've done so far. We produced a full flexed budget and calculated the total variances. Uh, then we went through the cost variances. First of all, I went through materials, labour and variable overheads, which I think all should have made sense. And then in the uh, last lecture, I went through fixed overheads, which I hope you're clear about, and obviously you must practice, uh, but a bit less obvious, a bit strange. However, although we've now dealt with all the cost variances, there are, of course, two other reasons why the profit was different than budget. And we have, in fact, already worked them out. You know, we budgeted on 56,000. The most obvious reason of all why we expect the profit here to be higher is because we sold more units. You know, and if everything else went perfectly, selling more units would have given us an extra 2,800 profit. And what else? Well, of course, sales. We should have sold our 8,400 units at $75 a unit. We only sold, well, sorry, we obviously sold them at a lower price, and that lost us money. So we know we've gained 2,800 from selling more, and we know we've lost 16,800 by having a lower selling price. Well, you could be asked to calculate those variances independently without having done a full flexed budget. With variance analysis, we don't normally do the flexing. I did it here just to be safe and to hopefully make sense of everything. But the two sales variances, you could be asked for independently. And the sales variances... First of all, sales volume variance. This looks at the effect of selling more or less units. We compare the actual sales, which in units is 8,400, with the budget sales which in units is eight or was eight thousand. So we sold four hundred units more than we expected to. And if everything else had gone perfectly, how much extra profit would it have given us? Well, stand at standard profit per unit. We did write down earlier that the standard profit, we were selling at 75, standard cost is 68. And so the standard profit per unit, the difference of seven. And therefore, selling more units, you'd have expected to increase the profit by 28. It's favourable. I'm not going to wind back again, but the difference... The budget profit was 56,000. The flex profit, we were expecting 58,800, an extra 2,800. What's the other thing that could go wrong? Well, of course, the selling price. If you sell at more or less than standard selling price, you'll make more or less profit. And so the other one is the sales price variance. And for the sales price variance, uh, we compare, or we look at, actual sales at actual selling price. Well, how many units did we actually sell? We actually sold 8,400 units. And how much revenue did we get? 613 at 200. 
to check whether we sold at the right price or not. We compare with what the revenue should be. Actual sales at standard selling price. So we did sell 8,400. How much should we have sold them for? We should have sold them for 75 a unit. And so the revenue should have been 630,000. We only got 613,200. We obviously sold at a lower price. Uh, we've lost revenue of 16,800. And surely every dollar less revenue is a dollar less profit. It's adverse. So learn those two and appreciate those two don't add up to anything. You know, there's no, they're two separate things. Look back at the original flex budget. Selling more units on its own means you expect more profit. Um, changing the selling price here, reducing the selling price on its own means you expect less profit. Okay, so that was a very short lecture, but we've now done all the variances for absorption of costing. I did say, though, at the beginning, and the final exercise in this chapter, example four, is what happens if it's marginal costing? And as you'll see, it's easy. There's very little extra to remember. Um, two things change, and that's all. But I will do that in one final lecture, but albeit it will only be a short one.